Good morning, uh, Facebook community. How are you guys doing? It is 8.20 a.m. on the 10th of November. I hope you guys are doing well. And from the title of the video, hope you guys can see that. Um, it's in regards to uh, are you struggling to grow your TikTok? Number one, are you struggling to capture leads on your TikTok? Number two, and number three, are you struggling to g capture commissions or make sales on TikTok? And so this is a question that people have all the time. Should I start another TikTok, right? And, you know, what I come to find out after having several TikToks and ruining my first, it literally took me four months to uh, acquire a thousand followers um, on TikTok, right? And I didn't do the follow train thing. Um, I, I was really trying to focus on trying to target my market, but I was doing it in the wrong ways. And with that being said, the very first videos I put on my original TikTok, um, they weren't in regards to my niche. And so that really, I think, from the beginning, from you know my experience, threw things off. Let me check and make sure that we are live inside the Facebook group and you can hear me. Bear with me real quick. All right, good to go. So good morning, Linda. How are you doing? I see you on here. Uh, but anyways, the topic was basically, should I start a new TikTok in order to get more exposure? And, you know, that was a topic that came up this morning. And if you have a TikTok that, you know, has like a thousand followers or more, right, um, it may have taken you a long time to establish that TikTok. But it, if your content wasn't directed towards what you're like doing now as far as maybe your niche, um, it's really hard to influence a crowd of people that were interested in a certain topic before when you first started posting TikToks, um, opposed to like if you were to start a new TikTok, take the knowledge and experience that you have now um, of the traction you've gotten. You know, there's videos that I've known, like I, I know this is going to get some traction, right? Um, even on my very first TikTok, not this new one. But I like, you know, I would know this would get traction and I would post it and it wouldn't get traction. And, you know, I was like, you know, what can I do? So anyways, I ended up starting a new TikTok. And when I did that, I took videos from my old TikTok, redone them, right? Put a little bit of a more, a better spin on them and posted them on my new TikTok. And sure enough, they took talk, took off. And that was just because I built a new TikTok with my, my main direction and intention from the beginning uh, to be directed towards my niche, you know, helping people overcome, you know, working their nine to five, um, breaking down those barriers of not being able to be their own boss or, you know, internally uh, helping them, you know, along with subconscious and mindset, letting them realize that there's no ceilings in life, that you can be your own boss, right? So that's what my niche is. That's what my target market is, the blue collar worker, the person that has roadblocks in their life and they want to have more time and freedom. So... With that being said, if you establish your TikTok in that direction or if you're a real estate agent, right, and your first start, first part of your videos were just like family at the beach and you're doing this, that, and the other, you might have a large following. In real estate, it might adapt a little bit better than, say, make money from home or learn how to work from home. Um, so you might have a little bit more traction with that. But even that being said, if you're not having traction and you're say a real estate agent or if you're a woodworker or you know you work you'll know, build stuff with your hands or whatever it is, um, if you're not getting traction when you first started, you know, when you have that TikTok initially and you started to, you know, implement a business aspect into it and you're not seeing any kind of like views and maybe they your views dropped, I would definitely you know this may hurt start a new TikTok. Um, once I did that what happened was it just laid the groundwork for my business and it it catapulted my whole situation right so um, what I'm gonna do is in if you guys decide to start a new TikTok, if you guys decide if you're in the money making it doesn't even matter if you're if you're if you're transitioning from your current position or maybe you have a brick and mortar business that you're transitioning from I'm gonna place a video in the comments that I done that I had my mentees do um, lots of them and they've gained thousands of followers overnight uh, yes it's a it's a it's a, a video that will go viral that has good potential to go viral 
um, but what the video does is it tells your audience the direction and the transformation you're taking and what that does is it engages them it, uh, it asks them to basically like and follow on your journey if you're like-minded so it starts your brand new TikTok off with a bang and you know if you guys want this video actually just leave in the comments uh, that I want this video and I will definitely send it to you because um, I want to see engagement on here I want to see people that are interested um, so um, you know after maybe a couple hours or whatever I'll, I'll throw that that video in there I don't want to throw it in there people that aren't interested at all you know but I don't want to force anything on anybody is what I'm trying to say so but it's an opportunity to take a viral video that literally changed my life and literally changed my mentees life several of them um, utilizing that same video and you're not necessarily copying because it's your own story and once you see the video you'll totally understand um, and I hope everybody out there is doing well can you guys hear me well uh, and if you guys are catching this on the replay uh, put replay if you would um, and even if you're not trying to make money on TikTok, even if you're trying to grow your TikTok, uh, I have different strategies uh, on how to grow TikTok using viral sounds and using viral videos, following niches, following trends, uh, stuff like that. So if you're not in the money making niche and you just want to blow your TikTok really, blow it up really fast, I have a lot of strategies and techniques. So if you are interested in that, uh, leave in the comments as well and if you are struggling on your TikTok or even Instagram um, I have I have solutions to problems and that's what I do as a mentor and a coach is I have solutions to problems so that could be fixing your nine to five issue or having a little extra money for Christmas or even having extra money to go on vacations you never went on either way what it boils down to is you're in a group right now consisted of like-minded people that help that want to help you achieve your your financial goals and you, uh, you know whatever it may be um, yeah you guys might know my backstory but either way I'm here for your, your support okay I'm not gonna know if you're struggling in any area um, or if you just want to talk about mindset or whatever it is I would like you to post all of your comments and all of that stuff in the groups and inside the group if you would um, because I don't want to see anybody struggle I want people to realize that there are individuals out there that can help them and so you know um, what I'm gonna do tomorrow I'm going to jump on a live Zoom, I think, uh, in this Facebook group as well. And what I'm going to do is, is probably do a little training on TikTok and how, you know, what, how to set up your page uh, for success. Um, maybe if, how to transform, you know, out of, you know, what you're currently doing as far as your niche, you know, and try to maybe replace uh, a new aspect of, you know, what you're doing in life in your platform to get traction. So basically take a, a TikTok that's already established and let's see if we can work through it um, and maybe gain traction. Either way, um, it's all about reaching out. So I want you guys to reach out as much as possible. If you, you know, if you have struggles or whatever it may be, reach out to me. I go live on TikTok each and every night. I did not go live last night. I had a lot of stuff to catch up on. So, but we'll be going live again tonight. Uh, it's going to be on my other passive 10K Eric channel as I'm still kicked off until tomorrow uh, to be able to post videos. But either way, um, I will see you guys one way or other. Please, you know, leave in the comments how you guys are doing. Um, if you guys are interested in mentorship or training, reach out to me. Um, if you're tired of struggling, you've been in this business for a long time, and you're tired of not making high-ticket sales and ledger and marketer, freedom breakthrough, Bambila, doesn't matter what you're in. Uh, the process is still the same. It's duplicatable, and you're able to teach it to people uh, that are, you know, that you help out as well. And if you're interested in becoming a coach and a mentor, reach out to me. I got services for that too, man. So um, this is a place where you can come for your one-stop shop. All right. Anyways, my name is Eric Forner. I'm gonna get on with my day and let you guys do the same. Much love and respect out there. I hope you guys have a blessed day, and I will catch you guys on the flip side. Talk to you later.